This question asks, the velocity versus time graph for an object moving along a straight path is shown in the figure below. Find the average acceleration of this object during the following time intervals. And it gives us uh, uh, three different time intervals for part one. It's zero to five seconds, five to 15 seconds, and zero to 20 seconds. So what we have here is this is our velocity, and this is our time. So we know that uh, acceleration equals the change in velocity over the change in time. And so we got to say, uh, where does velocity change? And so from the first interval, from zero seconds right here to five seconds, our velocity stays at um, negative eight minus negative eight <coughs> over five seconds, over um, a change of five seconds. So it, it, it changes zero over five, which equals zero. So the, the change in acceleration from zero to five seconds is zero, or the, the average acceleration during that time is zero. The next question, the next part is from five to 15 seconds. So from this point up to this point, what is the average acceleration? <coughs> well, our, our final velocity is positive eight, eight minus our initial velocity of negative eight. So eight minus a negative eight is the same as eight plus eight, which is 16. And the change in time is 10 seconds. So 16 over 10 equals 1.6 meters per second squared. That's the average acceleration during that time period. The next uh, one says from zero seconds to 20 seconds, what is the average acceleration? So we take our, our final velocity of eight, we subtract the negative eight of the initial velocity, and we divide it by the change in time, which is 20 seconds. So during that time period, 16 divided by 20 equals 0 0.8 meters per second squared. And so the average acceleration during the entire trip was 0 0.8 meters per second squared. And then part two asks, find the instantaneous acceleration at the following times. So what is the instantaneous acceleration at two seconds? So we got one, two seconds. Instantaneous acceleration right here. Whenever you have a straight line, your instantaneous um, your your instantaneous acceleration is equal to the average acceleration um, average for uh, for uh, of that straight line. So from the average acceleration from here to here is going to be equal to the instantaneous acceleration because it falls on a straight line. So what is the instantaneous acceleration? It was zero. The change in velocity is zero, so it's going to be zero. Then it says for 10 seconds. So what is the instantaneous acceleration at 10 seconds? And again, it's going to be instantaneous acceleration is going to equal the average acceleration for that particular straight line. So it's going to be 1.6 meters per second squared, or 16 divided the 16 that we got from 8 plus 8, or 8 minus negative 8, and the change in time of 10 seconds. So is the average acceleration in instantaneous acceleration is going to be equal. And the last question on part two is, what is the instantaneous acceleration for 18 seconds? So we got 16, 17, 18, this point right here. And of course, it's going to fall on this line. The line is flat, so the acceleration is going to be zero because the change in velocity is zero. And so that is the answers. It's, uh, the answers are zero, 1.6, 0 0.8, 0, 1.6, and zero, respectively.